Hey guys, I'm going to walk you through the steps on how I take a shower when boondocking. Uh, seems pretty straightforward, but these valves can be a little bit tricky, and especially, um, you know, folks not understanding the details and the benefits of this. This here is a shower miser valve. Uh, in this in, in this case, I'm in a, a Ibex or a Forest River Ibex. It's a 20 bhs, but all the Ibexes have this, um, and. This is blue right now, it's made of plastic, and once it gets hot water going through it, it's supposed to turn, and it will turn kind of whitish. I'm sorry, you can see my fingers are pretty yellow, just cutting up some turmeric, uh, so just ignore that. But um, anyway, so this is beneficial to have when you're boondocking because it will recycle the water. Any water, if you have it in the recycle mode, which I added these little labels on here because it can be confusing otherwise, there's three positions. I have, um, this is the recycle mode right here where when the water's on and I've got it set to this position, then the, the water is flowing back into the fresh water tank. The water is not going into the gray water tank, right? So if you're waiting for your hot water um, and you're running the shower like you typically would without this, then all that water is just going down into your, uh, you know, into your drain and going into your gray water tank so it's just being wasted but in this case you can wait for the hot water while it's just recirculating back into the fresh water tank so you're not losing it so anyway there's three different modes on here um, and i labeled it because it can be really confusing otherwise and i've got recirc on uh, boondocking only and so when the, again when it's in this mode i can have the water flowing and you can hear it flowing but it's going right back into the fresh water tank and then, of course, I bring it down, and this is, of course, the off mode, so no water will be flowing at all, even if the shower valves are in the on position, and then, of course, the on here. So I'll walk you through. Um, so first, of course, is just to flip your switch on. Um, again, when boondocking, you're not going to be hooked up to electric. Um, well, I guess, you, you know, that's a separate conversation with generators, but, uh, but flip your switch on, have your uh, propane burning to... Uh, heat up your hot water. I let that go about 15 minutes before taking a shower. And then after that, I will make sure that this is set to recirculate mode here. And then I will turn on the hot water. And I will turn on this cold water in a few seconds here, but it'll actually, this is the first time I'm turning it on today, so it'll actually, this will be a good example. Instead of waiting for this to turn white, um, because Plastic doesn't conduct heat uh, nearly as well as as metal. So I'm actually instead of wasting time waiting for this to turn white, which is you know I get the idea behind it. It's great. I'm touching right here, feeling this because this is solid metal here, and so this is actually going to heat up much faster than this plastic. So I'm just waiting until I feel some warmth to feel this warm up. Okay, got it. So now it's warm and. I will go ahead and then I turn on the cold water all the way and then I back off just a little bit and for me that's that's typically like just the right setting um, so then after that's on now now I can switch it over um, and just rotate it down to the on mode let me just turn it off in this example because I'm not looking to get soaked um, so then let's assume that this is still on. Then I rotate this down to the on mode. And then I've got the water in the line here that is going to be pushing out. So the water that's in the line is going to come out cold, of course. Um, by the way, I switched this over too. So this is a, a metal flex line. I, I didn't care for that plastic one that's all over the place. Um, it's, you know, it's, it's got memory. The plastic one has memory to it. So it kind of wants to go wherever it wants to go and get kinked up or not kinked up, but just, it was annoying. So I got this metal one. It doesn't have any memory. It, it's really nice. And then I also, uh, you know, got this oxygenics shower valve here, which, uh, I, I've, or shower, uh, wand i think it's great and i think there's even an um, even better one but i've been happy with this one and i removed i specifically don't care for this so I, I don't even use that at all so anyway getting back to it so i will switch this to the on position and so water would be flowing out right now and then while that cold water is coming out of the hose then i'm just wetting down using it to wet down the washcloth and then i um, hang it back up and um, by that time, just 
five seconds of water going through that hose, then the water will be warm. If I need to adjust it, um, then I'm typically not, it depends, it's, I'm typically not adjusting the hot side, I'm typically adjusting the, the uh, cold side. So then, you know, if I need it more hot, I'll just turn it a little bit more to the on position. And then if I need it, you know, anyway, you guys get the point with that. So um, then I will um, use the shampoo at that point. I'll get uh, wet down and start doing the shampoo if I'm really trying to conserve. Uh, as soon as I wet myself down, I will take this and I'll flip it over to the recirc mode. And again, that's going to let this water continue to flow, but it's going to redirect it back into the fresh water tank. Um, and that will prevent getting that cold water sandwich that, you know, that you'll get if you just use this valve here um, or if you're adjusting these. So I flip it back to the recirc mode on the shower miser. Um, suds up my hair and then I can flip this back down and as soon as I flip it down it's right at the same temperature that it was rinse off my my hair and then after that I could turn it back off um, or back to the recirc mode here and then I'll proceed to um, you know lather up and, and wash myself and then after that again it's pretty straightforward then I just go back to the on position and grab the handle, the wand, I should say, the, the shower head, the wand, and then I um, rinse off. I mean, it's just, it's pretty simple, but I think that the main things that a lot of people get confused by are these shower valves. So I really encourage you guys to put some labels on there like I did, because it makes a heck of a difference. I don't, you know, I, I thought that we'd maybe be using this a little bit more, because um, it's just a push button, you know, quick on off, but we don't use that at all. Um, so we just we just use this and and it works really well. So hope this guys I hope this helps you guys and uh, let me know if you have any questions.